Hello, in this Python programming video, we are going to look at the scale widget, which is basically you can think of it like a vertical slider, and we'll just print off a value from that scale widget once we click on a button. So, first of all, we are going to uh, do yeah, the click has messed up again. Again, this just happens. For me, if you've been watching this series, you'll notice that the app is with this IDE. Maybe it's just use another IDE to be fair. But okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is var equals double var. So this is going to be the variable type that we would get from this scale widget. Now we're gonna do scale. We're actually gonna create our scale and we specify the window. We specify the variable type, which is this var that we created. Now we just going to scale up pack like so, and let's just run it and see what we get. So we get this little scale here, which is you know pretty cool. At the moment, we have these values, but we're going to actually retrieve it and put it into our label. First of all, we're going to create a button, which will just be used to detect when the user clicked it. And then we'll put in the value of the scale into a label, which we're going to create in a in, in a matter of seconds, really. Retrieve value and the command that's gonna run is get value. You might be thinking, have we created this? Not yet, we will be very soon. So button.path, I'll create the label first, and then I'll create that get value method. So label equals label. Window and we're going to do label.pack. And now we just need to create that method. So def get value. And in here, we're going to do selection. And this is going to equal value. Plus. We're going to convert the value to a string, so var.get, all stuff that we've done before. And finally, we're actually just going to configure the label to actually have this value. So we're going to do text equals selection. Uh, if we run it, hopefully we get no errors. No errors. If I move this up and down, click the button, it says value of 7.0. If I change again, value of 79. So there you go. That is it for the scale widget. If you have any questions or you want to know about the multitude of functions beyond what we've covered for the scale widget, feel free to check out the link that we will attach with this video as we have with you know all of the GUI widget tutorials in this series. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.